to DIY with Nancy. We're gonna be making s'mores bars today. This is something that you can whip together within 30 minutes. Make sure that you follow me on my social media and turn my post notifications on so you can be the first to hear about my new and exciting things that I'll be doing. So for the s'mores recipe, you're gonna need five ingredients. You're gonna need a box of golden grams, which is about 330 grams. It's a smaller box. You're gonna need about 400 grams of uh, mini marshmallows and you're gonna set aside one cup out of that 400 grams. You're also gonna need about 270 grams of milk chocolate chips. So I've used this bag, so for measurements, uh, that's pretty much what I've used, 270 grams. Third, a cup of corn syrup and half a cup of butter. Okay, so we're gonna start off by placing the marshmallows in a uh, pot or pan. You can use either or in very medium to low heat. So that's what I have it on. And I'm gonna pour this, the marshmallows in. So those are all the marshmallows, less one cup. And then I'm gonna be placing the whole bag, 270 grams of chocolate chips. I'm gonna place the um, half a cup of butter. Squeeze it all out of here. And next will be the syrup, corn syrup. And we're just gonna let this warm up. In a few minutes, we're just gonna be mixing it. Um, Cause you're gonna see the marshmallows start, uh, sort of swelling up and you're gonna mix it up. Okay, so now what I'm doing is I'm mixing it, just getting warm. So I'm gonna make sure that all the ingredients are blended in so it doesn't burn at the bottom. So I'm gonna just turn down the heat a little bit. The whole idea is just to get it all melted and mixed together. And keep lowering the heat if you need to, or increasing the heat to you. Uh, as long as you see that it's melting and it's not sticking to the bottom. Of course, it would make sense to just try to use a non-stick uh, pan or pot. I'm just going to another minute or two and be ready to go and to mix it with the uh, golden grams. The marshmallows are usually the last thing. Okay. So we're pretty much done here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just leave this on really low heat, the lowest it can go. Okay, so we're ready to incorporate everything. I'm going to get the whole bag of uh, oil grams and put it in here. And if you recall, I said set aside one cup of marshmallows. We're just going to throw them in here. And then what I'm going to do is just blend them. And just so you know, what I do is I have a, a bowl of water, warm water, just set aside. I'm going to be dipping the spoon into the water so that way it doesn't get sticky and it's easier for me to mix together. And here we go. So I'm going to do this slowly. I'm going to pour a little bit, like let's say half. I'm gonna mix it. Of course, it has to be done quickly because the chocolate does harden. And if you see what it, the little marshmallows, the cup I set aside, they're just gonna be incorporated in there. Eventually they'll melt. Get the balance over here and mix it all together. Just want to make sure it gets all well coated, all the gold. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use just a baking sheet um, and I'm going to put some baking spray pan that's what I use and I'm just putting it all on here and the purpose of that is once I incorporate everything in here and you'll see what I'm going to do, I'm going to flatten it. It just doesn't stick uh, to the actual pan, okay? So here we go. I'm going to dip my hands into the water and you'll see 
The reason I'm gonna do that is so it doesn't stick to my hands. So I'm gonna pour everything into this baking sheet. And again, it is hot, so be careful. And you'll see my hands will get really sticky and I'm just gonna keep putting my hands into the water. And I'm gonna flatten it, just the shape of the pan. We're gonna put this in the refrigerator for about 15 minutes so I can harden just a little bit before you start cutting them. So it'll probably give you about, I would say maybe 18 to 20 uh, s'more uh, bars. So okay, so it's been 15 minutes and I'm just gonna take it out of the fridge. So I'm ready to cut them into these s'more bars. And what I, I did is I got a serrated knife and some water on the side, just in case it gets sticky, it's easier for me to cut. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off by just cutting the edges out. And what I do is I sort of leave the, the edges because they're not proper little squares and I leave them aside and I leave them for my daughters. They love to eat them. So, so I don't know, an inch apart. And I'm gonna cut them straight and I'm gonna keep cutting them. And I'm just gonna cut them into the squares. And you see they might get a little sticky, but it's fine, it's quite normal. It's all the chocolate and marshmallow. So it looks like that. So you can probably get about 20 to 24, depending how big or small you cut them. And you can cut them however you like. Bigger or smaller, it doesn't matter. It's a simple recipe, and I really hope you've enjoyed watching it. Um, they taste amazing. It will be a success if you bring it to any event. I can guarantee you. Enjoy.